Today I'm gonna show you how to render these two basic plans in Photoshop in a super simple and fast way. Let's jump right in. Step 1, Textures. Grab the magic wand tool and start with the indoor flooring. Make sure you're on the plan layer, then select all the flooring, the rooms, corridors, and lobby. Once you're done, open your texture, go to Edit Define Pattern, and save it. I'll just name mine Floor. Now, go back, click on the little circle down here for Adjustment Layers, and choose Pattern. Then, just switch the blending mode from Normal to Overlay. Next is the furniture. You can leave it as it is, but coloring it now will help later with the dark plan. Select each furniture piece, and this time use solid color instead of pattern. Adjust the tone until it looks good, or pick a color from the floor tiles to make it all match. Okay, let's move outdoors. Here, try different colors and textures for variety. Select the empty areas, then define a grass texture as a pattern and apply it just like before. Lower the opacity a bit so it looks softer. Much better. For the pool, select it, fill with a light blue color, then set the blending mode to multiply. For parking and circulation zones, use a concrete texture. Apply it, and if it looks off, just move the pattern until it fits. Add another grass pattern in the other spaces if you like. Actually, I think a light solid color works better than concrete here. So, select the pattern mask with Ctrl plus click, use the magic wand to select the rest, and fill it with a solid color. Oh, looks like I missed the door. No problem. Just select the flooring mask again, use the magic wand to grab the door, and reapply the pattern. Last for this step, the walls. Select all of them and fill with a nice dark color. And that's step 1 done. To stay organized, group all the pattern layers and name the group textures. Then create a new group, name it Shadows, and add a new layer inside. Step 2, Shadows. Pick the brush tool, hard round brush, dark color, and lower the opacity. Start painting shadows at the corners of the walls, inside and outside. Make sure you decide on an angle, here I'm using up and to the right. Keep that same angle for the outdoor areas too. Shadows are super important, they instantly make the plan pop. Step 3, Trees. Make a new group and layer, name it Trees or Plants. With the brush tool and tree brushes, start adding them in. Try different shapes, colors, and sizes, and group them in clusters. This variety makes a huge difference. If you'd like, I can make a full video just on this topic. And that's it, the light plan is ready. Because everything is in groups, it'll be super easy to make the dark plan. Now let's move to the dark plan. First, group everything together, all the groups plus the plan layer. Copy the group with Ctrl plus J. Now you've got two copies. Hide one, and let's edit the other. Start with the textures. Change the light ones to dark versions. For the walls though, keep them white so they're clear. Select the texture masks with Ctrl plus click, and apply darker colors. Adjust opacity and blending modes until it looks good. Do this for the floors and grass too. When textures are done, leave the shadows as they are, but adjust the plants group. Add a brightness slash contrast adjustment to brighten them up, and test different blending modes until you get a nice effect. If the colors look weird, just use a black and white adjustment layer instead, and lock it. Now, for the shadows, select them and add a light orange tint. This gives the effect of lighting or emission. 
To push it further, add a solid dark color layer on top, switch it to overlay, and play with the color, cold or warm, until you get the mood you want. And that's it guys. In just a few steps we learned how to render an architectural plan in Photoshop, in both light and dark styles. Hope this was helpful. Drop any questions in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.